Fred we rescued. He was our very first video ever. We are at our outdoor pool pond and I have a special guest here. I got Fred. What's up, Fred? He's hiding right now. But this video is gonna be all about Fred and Kazoo and sort of suede and others. But basically what we're gonna be doing today is we are getting the turtles outside into the big 3,200 gallon pool pond. I'm so excited. They are going from about a 90 to 100 gallon pool pond that they've been in indoors. You've always seen them in there. Uh, I just figured it'd be awesome to let them have the whole summer outside this year. So it's gonna be really exciting. We're gonna go to Home Depot. We're gonna make them a DIY basking dock. We are also gonna get some stuff to make a cave for, where is he? Oh, he's way over there, I don't know if you can see him, but for camo. So we're gonna make a really cool DIY cave in here. Uh, as you can see, it's a little green. I'm gonna work on cleaning that up as well. The algae is uh, bound to happen outside. Um, it is supposed to pour for the next few days, so this is gonna be tricky. We're gonna try and get it all done, so make sure you stay tuned. Fred, are you excited? You get to get outside this year. That's pretty exciting. Stay tuned and let's build a DIY basking dock. All right, let's explain what we are doing. So before we get the turtles out here today, what we're gonna do is set up a couple things. One, we obviously have to build them a basking place. Um, we are also gonna build a cave for camo and whoever else can fit in it. So what we did, we went to Home Depot. We got a couple of things here. We got this really cool flat paver. It's huge. This is gonna be the top of the cave. And then we got these rocks that are a little bit rounded so the edges aren't as sharp. Um, we're gonna stack a couple of those on each side and then put it on, um, put the paver on top for the cave. So we're gonna do that. The basking dock is actually gonna be the exact same thing, uh, but a little bit of a different style on that. And so we'll set up those two things. I'm also gonna set up some stuff for the pumps today because we need to get them protected so that the uh, turtles don't go inside. So what we have here are just some small little waste baskets. You can get them at a uh, dollar store for like a, a dollar, obviously. So uh, grab two of these. What we're gonna do is the pump is gonna sit right in this. I just gotta cut a little slit out here for the hose to fit. But first things first, we can get those rocks in. Let's build ourselves a cave. All right, so stacking the last one here. And then I'll give a little explanation. So basically what we did is we had four of those rocks. We stacked two on top of each other, which will be plenty deep enough. We gave him enough of an area to swim in. He'll probably hang out under this. <laughs> He's a little longer than it, so he might stick out a little. But um, also, once we take care of the uh, green problem in here a little bit, you'll be able to see it better. Um, so it's gonna be those, and then can we grab that piece? I know it's heavy. That is very heavy. That looks awesome. That is really, really cool. So he will, I promise you he'll find that. <laughs> if Thor and Loki don't find it first. But gives him just a nice little area he likes to cover. Georgie, what's the matter? You want to come in? Hi. What do you think? What do you think? Do you see the cave? Look it. That's Camo's cave. What do you think? So I think it looks great. Again, I know the green makes it a little bit difficult to see right now. We will work on that and get cleaned up, but I mean, again, it's a pond. Ponds look like this. I think it's awesome. It's starting to really come together. What we're gonna do over there, if you can kind of see the cave right now, we're definitely gonna get some plants and put them in front of it a little bit to make it look more natural, give him a little bit more natural cover as well. Um, make sure, guys, make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video, because we still have to announce our Amazon gift card giveaway winner, and we have to release the turtles in here. Also, hopefully by the end of this video, before we're done, we ordered something that should be here so we can get some underwater shots. I think that would be sweet, especially if we could go up and kind of see the cave underwater and see Thor and Loki maybe, uh, and our buddy Inferno, who guys, I love talking about this. So Inferno, our uh, Red Devil Cichlid, is literally like the king of this pond. Even though he's not as big as everybody else, he runs this show and it's so funny. He will dart at them and make them leave him alone. And if he wants an area, he's gonna take it. It's really cool. So um, I think Camo is gonna love it. And if you guys don't know, if you haven't followed us before, Camo is our rescued red-tailed catfish. He is massive, but stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned to the end. It's gonna be really cool. All right, so it is time to get to our DIY turtle basking dock. Again, like I said, similar setup to the cave. Really cool part about this, it's actually gonna act as a cave and a basking dock for them, which is cool. So we are gonna put it over this area, we are gonna also put a little covering over here of net, just for any area, aerial predators like hawks and whatnot. Uh, so, and this does get plenty of sun. Oh, 
All right, so we had to improvise a little bit. We are one short, so we were doing two, we are gonna need three, so I'm gonna have to run to Home Depot and grab two more of those rocks. In the meantime, we had a couple of cinder blocks. I don't suggest using them because the cinder blocks over time and the water will break apart. Sun gets there full all the time. Perfect cave, huge, tons of space. Kazoo and Fred, I think, can both fit under there, which is really cool. I don't know, what do you guys think? Any ideas, any pointers, let me know down below. All right, so past two days did not cooperate weather-wise at all. So we had built our DIY basking dock for the turtles and the cave over there for Camo, which really cool, he's in there. He's been in there for like a day and a half, loves it. Um, Inferno loves them too, which is really cool. So we got those built and then storms for literally two days. It's gonna do it again today. So we gotta be quick. I'm trying to get this finished up. So I'm finishing up this pump over here. You saw I got that little metal wire trash bin that we put on it. So last year, quick story, we had something very similar to this, but it was made for pumps. Uh, and it was like $35 for literally a piece of netting and it kept getting caught in the filter. So what we did this year, as you saw, we, we had the um, little trash bin and I just kind of cut it to fit. And then we're gonna sit it, hopefully if all works, right inside of this bag. Sweet, so total setup for that was like $2.50. I got the wire bin at, dollar, at the dollar store for a buck and I got that uh, la laundry bag at Walmart for a buck fifty. So it was like $2.50. So now the bag itself won't get sucked into the filter and it still has all plenty of flow to collect everything. What this does too is all the crap will collect on that bag and we can just kind of pull it off and throw it out, whatever doesn't go in. This way, now it's protected so that the turtles don't get sucked in. So without further ado, I'm gonna do the other one real quick off camera. And we're gonna get some turtles. Gray, you ready to get some turtles out here? Yeah. We're gonna get some turtles out here. So I hope you can hear me. We have a really cool new case on our phone that allows us to go underwater. So I'm gonna try and quickly get some underwater shots here of everybody. So bear with me again, water's still a little green. So we are down in the pool pond of Fred, Kazoo, and Xena. We are gonna get Fred and Kazoo out of here. They have been in here in this place. If you ever, if you didn't see that build, make sure you check that out. It was really cool when we put this together. So when we get them out, we are gonna get Crusher and Daisy into here so they have a huge place to be. And we're also gonna reskate this. This needs, this needs a, a real good uh, rework in here. As always, guys, make sure you go subscribe, hit that bell, and share these videos around. Help us grow. We still have that goal, guys. Billings to a million, it's gonna happen. You guys ready? You have a huge upgrade. Are you excited? Let's go outside and then you can. This is a really big moment for Billings fam and for House Billings because this little guy here, well, he's not little anymore. This is Fred. If you guys have been around since the beginning, Fred we rescued. He was our very first video ever was rescuing him. He was stuck in a 10 gallon tank for the first three or four years of his life before we got him. He was way undersized, he wasn't in good health, and we basically brought him back and we pretty much started house billings because of Fred. So this is a really big moment. Uh, Kazoo as well, he's been around for a while. So let's uh, let's see how these, guys, how these guys act. Hey, let me know if any of you guys have turtles outdoor with fish in something similar. Let me know, I'd love to see it. Ugh. All right, Fred, are you ready? On your new basket station, okay? Look at that, dude. What? Oh my goodness, look at him go! How many gallons? 3,200. Oh, yeah. Let me see Kazoo. You should put, we should put my camera in the thing for when Kazoo jumps off.
turtles are going to do great out here. I can't wait. We'll definitely try and get a couple of pictures of them basking and we'll throw them up in this video so you guys can actually see them right now. They're just kind of doing their thing. This is way more room than they're used to. It's going to be awesome. Uh, it's funny. A couple of the fish already went up to them and were like, what are you? Why are you in here? So really cool. Uh, really quick, we got to get to the gift card giveaway from the last video. And that one goes out to Anthony Iskander. So Anthony, reach out to us. It was from saying mini farm in that video. Um, reach out to us either here or on Instagram or email, whatever. We have a thousand different platforms. Make sure you guys stay tuned too. So we have so many things coming up. Follow along with the turtles journey out here. We still have other fish to get out here. We're gonna bring suede, the big pleco. We gotta do some fishing. So there's a lot more to come in this pond. Um, so let's get to our uh, good vibe shout out, which goes out to eyeliner fetish. Great name. I love the names of the baby chicks. Your mini farm is coming along great. Eyeliner, thank you very much. We are having a blast. Uh, the nice weather really helps, so it's a lot of fun. Make sure, guys, if you do want to get featured in the Good Vibe shout out, comment, send us some love. Hey, and we need to get back to our 10 seconds of fame. We need some pictures or videos. Make sure you're doing that as well. Great, what do you think? Are you going to do some swimming for a minute? As always, Billings fam. Peace. Bye, friend. <laughs> Subscribe below, look at this guy. He wants to get they always come over to us. We are walking to PetSmart. Very, very small fish. Excellent guys. Fred is in great shape. Woo! Clovis, say hi. Is doing so much better underneath.